Today we are reviewing the JTZ DP30 camera cage for the A6000, A7 and A9 series. Let's start with the unboxing first. This cage is really well packed in a sturdy box. In the box you get some literature on JTZ Link and the top handle. Here you have the handle. In the main compartment you have the cage itself, pre-assembled with the NATO rail and the one camera QD base plate. In there you have a bag with all the different uh, base plate for all the different A-series camera. There is the 15mm rod base plate, some lens mount adapter with a small screwdriver, a toolkit, replacement parts, and a dovetail plate. So this is what the rig would look like fully assembled to my liking. I did put a different mat box and uh, NPF battery plate holder along with some random rods and clamps I've been using for a long time. Uh, this shows you what it could look like if you are mix and matching your equipment. Okay, so to the actual review of the cage itself, let me tell you this is built solid. The CNC machining on this is great and every part fits snugly together with no wobble at all, uh, which makes it for a solid assembly. I have been picking up this rig with the tripod attached to it and haven't seen any negative effect to it. It's still really sturdy. So the cage itself is a fully body cage and since it's made for a full frame Sony camera, the A63 is floating a little bit in it. The cage itself has plenty of quarter inch screw holes uh, all around for your accessories on the top. Uh, the, on the left side you have a specific mounting points for an EVF of which they include the screws and has a second placement for the HDMI clamp if you don't want to use the vertical one already integrated to the cage. On the right side there is a cold shoe to mount a accessory that requires that type of uh, mounting point and you have some uh, markings like a little cheat sheet about um, what the top handle button do and uh, of course you have the two inputs for the JTZ link handle and the uh, LANC port. The top handle is a quick detached style and use a NATO rail which is more and more common nowadays. You can set up the handle in a left to right fashion or a front to back one depending on your liking and the camera. It features a cold shoe a front 15 millimeter rod clamp and a, a quarter inch mount at the end of the handle which is uh, what I always used on my rig. I've uh, used to use the cheese plate uh, one before uh, just for preference. In my case it was for extra mounting points so I was interested to see how I would like this handle. I actually prefer this to the cheese handle first. It's way more comfortable being uh, a molded polymer. It fits perfectly in my hand. It's also texture so um, makes less uh, smooth so holding the whole rig uh, never feel like it will slip out of my hand uh, also polymer is pretty strong I've been uh, uh, moving my whole rig like I was saying and with the tripod connected and I didn't have any issue plus being able to hit record from the handle is pretty great since the uh, the placement of the record um, button on the Sony cameras is uh, contested by a lot of people now if we keep going on the cage itself on the right side it features a bunch of uh, quarter inch mounting points and a RE rosette for a handle uh, which we'll be uh, covering in another video. Then on the left side there's a few more mounting points as well as the camera port opening. The port door is actually well covered on the A6300 by the camera QD plate. I would have loved a port lock style attachment to make it 100% secure, but it's pretty secure as it is. There is also an integrated lens support to it where you can either mount your lens adapter directly to it or support a heavy lens with it. It features uh, tiny wheels which uh, doesn't obstruct your aperture ring if the lens you're using uh, need that. The JTZ link feature on the camera is great. Uh, the way that all the electronic in, is in the cage itself and that a USB cable come out um, 
is definitely a plus. One less cable to have to tie down somewhere on the cage. For the other cables, the camera has two cable slots uh, in the front of it where you can uh, tie down some cables if they fit in there. Then there is the rod base plate again, really well made. The tolerances for the QD and 15 millimeter rod is great. It requires a little bit of force to put stuff on, um, but there's no wobble, so that's really great. Uh, there's also a rosette on the side um, so you can mount a handle. And then there's the dovetail plate. There's a bunch of quarter inch and uh, three eight inch holes to mount your tripod base plate on it. A great feature on this cage is that it has a quick disconnect for everything on the camera. The base plate to the cage, the cage to the rod base plate, the rod base plate to the dovetail. So if you need to pull out your camera, you can do it. If you need to take out the cage alone and uh, hand hold it, you can do it. If you want to switch your, from your tripod to your shoulder setup, you can do it. A really great system in my opinion. It's not all roses though, I found a few minor flaws with it, nothing that is a deal breaker, but some things that you uh, need to look for and adapt for it. So first, the system works great in its own ecosystem, which means if you have a JTZ Madbox and a JTZ Follow Focus, it's all good, but if you have a mix and match of equipment, it may cause, uh, cause some problem. I can't disconnect the dovetail with my Fotka Madbox. Uh, it hits the dovetail, so I have to remove my Madbox, then detach the rig, and uh, it's even worse if you have a non-quick uh, detach follow focus on there. Another thing is that if you are using a lens support, depending on your lens, you may not be able to detach the cage from the rod base plate as the rod um, is in the way. So I just ended up removing it uh, because I don't really need it. And finally, with the lens support, again, you may not be able to detach your camera from the cage. With my uh, Nikkor 85 millimeter, I would hit the support and could it get it out. Overall, this JTZ DP30 camera cage is the sturdiest I had the pleasure to work with. I am very happy with all of its feature. Another great piece of equipment made by JTZ. I have no doubt that it will last forever. So stay tuned for more reviews. We'll be reviewing the handle and the shoulder pad soon. As always, subscribe to the channel, like this video and find us on Facebook. See you next time.